Room Spray Base is all the hotness right now. It has completely exploded this year. It's a fantastic way to expand your candle product line and also it's another great way to offer your clients the same candle fragrance that they love without the commitment of a two or four hour burn. Today, we are gonna go through and compare ingredients, price, and performance of a handful. All right, let's start with the flaming candle first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just do like a two ounce bottle, just something really small to test. Uh, we're gonna talk about the ingredients, how much it is, and then we're going to mix it up on the magnetic stir. I prefer a magnetic stir. You can obviously put it in the bottle and shake it up, but we'll get into all that later. But let's start with the Flaming Candle. Flaming Candle offers one pound of, it's a linen and room spray base. It's uh, $5.67 for one pound. The first ingredient is water. The second ingredient is surfactant. Uh, doesn't say which one it is, but basically what so the surfactant ingredient here is because we're gonna be adding fragrance oil to uh, this base and because there's water there, it it's basically gonna act as the bridge to let the oil mix with the water without needing an additional preservative. So uh, I don't know what one that is. Okay, the third ingredient is isopropyl alcohol. Uh, I'm not a fan of having this in a linen and room spray. Isopropyl alcohol is super drying. It smells like alcohol um, and it's highly flammable. All right, and the last ingredient is dipropylene glycol. So it's not a harsh alcohol. It's pretty common in like skincare, cosmetics. It's basically there to help just uh, improve stability of the product texture if you're using it in skincare. Um, yeah, it's, it's fine. I'm totally fine with this ingredient. I think it's just the isopropyl alcohol. Let's make some room spray base. This is bonkers, you guys. Okay, I measured out two ounces of the Flaming Candle room spray base to get it ready. It's been sitting out here. I have been filming all day, so it's been sitting out in the air and it has completely gelled. Boy, boy, that is interesting. I'm still gonna try and mix it. Oh, it's like a uh, jelly. Yeah, I think that'll, if you can see. It also reeks of alcohol. It just smells like rubbing alcohol. It is not great, Bob. All right, let's add some fragrance. I put a poll up in my on my community tab on YouTube. If you're not following me there, please consider subscribing so you don't miss anything and you can partake in fun polls like this one. So I let you all know that I was gonna be filming this video and I asked what fragrance oil company should I use? So Midwest One, it's a little neck and neck there between Hive and Honey. So here we are. I'm today gonna use Harvest Fig from Midwest. And uh, that way we have an even, even read across all of them. So I'm gonna be using uh, 5%. So we're just gonna measure this out to get 0.1. Oh, it smells so good. 0.1, perfect. I'm gonna drop in my, oh boy. Turn this on. Let's see if it can move in here. I'm gonna try and stir this and see if I can't break it up. We're gonna do our best here, honestly. It's kind of slimy. I don't, I'm not even sure if I could get that to spray. Let's try and pour some in here and see if we can't get. I'm not excited to spray this into the air because I'm curious what the hell that's gonna do, but <laughs> let's see. All right, I'm going to spray this and see if it'll come through. <gasps> oh! <gasps> I don't know if you can see, but it just shot out in a stream. Yeah, I think this is a fail because it won't, it's completely clogged. Um, okay. Weird and gross and gross and weird. So the, safe to say uh, flaming candle was an absolute fail. I had to go wash my hands. My hands are so dry right now. They just feel like just really dried out and gross. Again, partially my error. I didn't realize I couldn't leave it open in the air. So, cause it was liquid when it came, totally liquid. I don't have any more of the flaming candle if you have questions because I sent it to my friend Jessica. She uses this base and I didn't need to keep that much from it, so I sent it to her so she could have it and enjoy it. 
Um, so I don't have any more to test. So that's on me. But I will say, just based on the ingredients and the fact that it's very drying and the strong alcohol smell, even when mixed with fragrance, not a fan. All right, let's talk about Northwood's Body and Room Spray Base. So for, for one pound, this is $12.93. So they are not sharing their ingredients list. They're saying it's a proprietary blend. I don't like that. It deters me from purchasing that product. But for the purpose of this video, I, I did it. I took one for the team. So listen, let's go into the SDS sheet and let's see what it says in there. So a lot of times when you have these companies that say, look, it's proprietary, we don't wanna share our formula. Fine, peek into the SDS sheet and you'll see the ingredients there because they're required to list them there. So let's see what we have here. All right, so they're listing a Foxy ethanol, which is another alcohol. Um, I don't know what all the other ingredients are, but basically it's, it's another type of solvent that's used in uh, cosmetics, soaps, um, to help carry fragrance. Let's measure out a couple of ounces and this is sealed. <laughs> okay, this does have a, uh, this has a strong alcohol fragrance to it as well. Not as, it's almost got like a floral alcohol to it, not like straight up isopropyl alcohol. So I'm doing 5%, so we are going to measure out 1.9 ounces, which is 5%. I really like the magnetic stir for making sure that everything is fully homogenous. That has finished mixing. It's got a, like the smallest hint of like yellow, the smallest, but it looks really good. It's nice and uh, blended. Let's go ahead and put it in the bottle. All right, let's see how it sprays. <laughs> really good. So what is happening is that alcohol in there, when you, when you depress the atomizer, it's evaporating the alcohol and it's only leaving the scent in the air. And you can see here on my table, that it is not leaving anything anything here. So I'll spray it again so you can see. Completely uh, evaporating, like it's there's nothing there. So I'd feel confident that this isn't going to leave a film on my floors or you know on linens or pillows. The scent retention is really good. All right, the next base that we're gonna compare is from a company called Ohio Fragrance Co. So what I did is I ordered a sample. So they sent it to me in a bag like this, already in a bottle, um, but this is a three and a half ounce sample and I paid $4.39 for this sample. So maybe I'll decant two ounces if it's three and a half, just so we can test it and see. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what the per pound price is because their website is down. They're currently moving locations and so they're not opening back up again until I think it's November 1st. Um, so I don't know how much that is, but let's just do some first impressions and uh, let's take a look here. I also can't tell you the ingredients. <coughs> oh, I can tell you it smells like alcohol. It smells like rubbing alcohol. Ooh! <laughs> All right, I am gonna decant this. So let's go ahead, let's get our scale out and pop this on and we'll just do um, a, couple, a couple ounces. <laughs> All right, let's see how this does. It's not as strong as the others. It definitely looks like it's a heavier formula the way it's dropping more rapid. Let's do it over here and just see if there's anything So you can see that it's leaving a film. It's it's a little, so it's got kind of like a white cast, which is interesting. I'm spraying it up nice and high, so you can see that it's just sort of falling. I don't know if you can tell. It's hard, I don't know if the camera's picking it up.
All right, the next base we're gonna be putting up to the challenge is from Peach State Fragrance and Candle Co. So for 16 ounces, it is $7.50 for a pound. The ingredients are water, SD alcohol, propylene glycol, methyl glucose ether, and glycerin. So basically what those are is just is PPG. It's a mix of, it's a mix of uh, polypropylene glycol ether and methyl glucose. So you'll, if those sound familiar, you've probably seen it in like a lot of hair care products, skincare products. It helps to give shine and softness. So it's a pretty common ingredient in um, cosmetics and hair care. All right, I am very familiar with this base. I have tested it both as a body spray and a room spray. The body spray, you could use about 4%. If you have a strong oil, I recommend going to 3%. It has a really nice dry down. It's not tacky or sticky. It doesn't cause any irritation or dryness on the skin, so you won't have that itchy feeling. Um, the room spray base, I definitely have used as well and tested it. It's a solid room spray base. It has a really strong scent retention in the air and it doesn't leave any residue or filminess. Let's get to the demonstration. Go with the uh, peach date and you'll see this is perfect. It atomizes, the alcohol stays behind and the fragrance is left in the air. Yeah, there is no, I just ate it. Don't eat it, don't eat it. <laughs> All right, next up is Makesy's Organic and Wild Crafted Witch Hazel. So for a 16 ounce, a one pound bottle, it is $15.95. All right, the ingredients are organic, wild crafted witch hazel, organic, gluten-free, and non-GMO grain alcohol, which is derived from corn. And that is it. This also works, doubles, as a re-diffuser base. So you get a two for one there. It's totally up to you um, what you're vibing. All right, this one is so good. All right, next up, we are going to put Midwest Fragrance Company's Room Spray Base Natural Odor Eliminator to the test. I understand that there was a previous version. I have the newest version, so I can't compare the previous to this one. So for a 16 ounce, a one pound bottle, it is $7.99. So what they are sharing is the primary slash active ingredients because they're saying it's a proprietary blend. So, but they are sharing what the primary main ingredients are, which I appreciate. Um, so what they're sharing is an RO slash DI, which basically RO is reverse osmosis slash DI is just deionized water. Um, that's all that that means. DEG monobutyl ether, just another solvent, uh, surfactant, as we talked about previously, that could be anything. Antioxidants, um, that those could be man-made, like synthetic, those could be natural, uh, I have no idea. But typically, antioxidants are coming from fruits and vegetables, so that's very interesting. Let's look at the safety data sheet and just see if there's anything more specific that we can dig in and, and find. We have some other ingredients in here. They're listed, but they're, they don't have the percentage because it is a proprietary blend. So uh, the ingredient is diethyl, Phthalate. This is just another solvent for holding and maintaining fragrance. Do your research on uh, these, these specific ingredients if they are of concern to you. The other ingredient is vanillin and then an ethyl vanillin. So ethyl vanillin, this may sound familiar because you'll see it in food, cosmetics, uh, lip products, hair care products, just to add um, an artificial slight vanilla type slight vanilla fragrance and that could be because when they reformulated this one they want it to be able to hold more bakery and gourmand type scents so this is just speculation i do not know that for a fact this is just my guess that that's why this ingredient um is in there to sort of help carry those gourmand bakery type scents and then uh, pairing that with the vanillin, of course. So I'm gonna say right off the bat, I'm not a fan of this base because it does leave a filmy residue on my hardwood floors. We'll probably see it here today on the table. Um, it did make my linens and some throw pillows um, crunchy. 
So the dry down is a little weird. Again, like test your mileage may vary, but it's very important that you test, 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 especially if you're planning to sell this and also using it in your own home, test it in small areas until you see how it reacts, especially wood floors. So let's take a look. Oh yeah, it's just falling like straight down. That's getting everywhere. I'm just trying to spray it lightly because I don't, I don't want you to, I don't want it to be everywhere. Let me get on my camera on my phone so you can see. Yeah, it's just leaving uh, this film here. Not great. All right, the eighth room spray base that I want to share with you today is from a company called Deep South Fragrance. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with them. They are notorious for having a wonderful room spray base, but they're also notorious for Pony Express shipping. The shipping is so dang slow, but pro tip, if you absolutely love this base and you want to use it and not any of the others that I've showcased today, you can order directly from FAIR and you get it much faster. It comes closer to like eight days, 10 days. Um, so food for thought, but let's get into the details. So. You can only buy this in two sizes. You can buy it in a 32 ounce or a 64 ounce. The 32 ounce is $15.97. And the ingredients are FDA approved SD alcohol, water, glycerin, and propylene glycol. What I love about this base is the scent retention and longevity. It is so good. It doesn't make floors sticky. It doesn't make linens, pillows, couches, curtains, anything like that. Uh, it doesn't leave a residue and it lingers for a long time. Like, next day, I can smell it. And I'll tell you how you can get that later on in the video, but I don't have this to show and test for you because I'm completely out of it. And so, because I've gravitated towards another one that's easier to get, that's the one that I'm using. I love the base, but I don't love that I have to pay a little bit more to get it to me in a timely manner. So, but I do want to, I did want to share it. So Deep South is great as well. I think it's comparable to Hive and Honey for sure. All right, and the final base that we're going to be testing and talking about today is the Room Spray Base from Hive and Honey. I've saved this one for last because it is my favorite out of all of them. It's nearly identical in terms of uh, ingredients and performance to Peach State and Deep South. I say all of that before we even get into the test. Um, a one pound 16 ounce bottle is $10, so it's a little bit more expensive than the others. Though if you meet that free ship threshold, you're good. Uh, let's get into the ingredients, and these are gonna be very familiar. Ingredients are FDA approved SD alcohol. I like that alcohol is the first ingredient. Water is the second ingredient. Glycerin, methyl glucose ether, which we've talked about already in this video, plant-based propylene glycol, and I think that's super important because a lot of times people hear propylene glycol and they're like, ah, no, do your research, but it is a plant-based um, oil. So I love the Hive and Honey one. It also doubles as a body spray, so it is safe to use on skin. I use five to seven percent, depending upon the fragrance oil that I'm using uh, for room spray. And then for body, I would use about five percent. I think across the board, it, it tends to hold really So when spraying and testing room spray base, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips that will really help you understand if it's a good lasting spray or not. So let's get into it. Now you can just go into your bathroom and just spray it in the air and walk out and shut the door. I think that's an okay way, but when you close a door, you're obviously going to be sealing in the fragrance and I don't think that's the best way to test whether or not it has longevity, true longevity. So to properly perfume your home and test your room spray is to start at the base. You don't wanna walk into a room and just spray it in the air. So yeah, it's gonna perfume the air for a little bit but it's not going to have longevity and stay. And you won't really know truly, does this have legs or not? So you're gonna to wanna to walk into your any room and it doesn't matter how big the room is because it's still you're still gonna be able to gauge whether or not the fragrance is long lasting. If you have curtains, test a small area. What I do is I go into my bedroom, my living room, and I spread the curtain and I spray the very base of it. And I spray each panel 
and that's it. That's my first baseline test. Then I'll go into another room and I will spray the base of my uh, couch or the bed frame. So we have a cloth bed frame, you know, that goes around one of the beds. So I'll spray it there because it's gonna, it's gonna cling onto that fabric and hang out. So you wanna check it in every in one hour increments. You can get a gauge as to, is it diminishing quickly or is it still hanging, it's very potent. So set a timer and check on it every hour. And then in your second room or in your third room where you're adding more fragrance, it should last longer. Um, what I did is I sprayed this in our bedroom. I have four curtains that I sprayed the bottom of and then I sprayed the base of our bed and that was it. I didn't close the doors. We have a very large space um, and the next morning I could still smell it in the room and it was incredible. Like that is the kind of perfume experience that I want to freshen up the space. That is my recommendation to you to properly perfuming and testing your room spray base. You can spray it in the air, but it doesn't have anything to cling onto and it is going to dissipate a lot faster than if you anchor it to something. I would say make sure you test small areas with some of the other bases that I went over and demonstrated today, just because you don't want to get that filmy, crunchy uh, texture. That's not good. That's not cute. And then it's it's gross. You don't want to sit on that, you know? So for our room spray base showdown, Hive and Honey comes out on top for me personally. I think some of the other notable did wells would be Deep South, Peach State, and uh, Northwood. So if you enjoy these sort of head-to-head -head video comparisons, check out my playlist here. I've got some really fun fragrance oil showdowns and I've got another one coming very soon. So until the next one, you guys, I'll see you then. Bye.